This game features some disturbing concepts and imagery. If this is a concern for your mental health, please tread carefully. Alright, um, so... <sighs> I, uh, I wanted to see... How she would feel about <clears throat> the darkest poem we could we could pick. Uh, let's go disaster. Um, anger. Grief is the we're we're, we're currently choosing um, terrible things to see because terrible things have happened and we're kind of uh, figuring out cage. I think is even worse than misfortune here. Uh, massacre, of course. Um, wrath? Tears? Wrath. Unending also has some merit. Cry. I'm guessing this won't matter, but, uh... Doki Doki, because of its, uh, self-referential value, is probably even better than a tone. Alone. Anxiety. Fester. Uh, Melancholy. Scars. Contamination? So, yeah. Tragedy or horror. Let's go tragedy. Despise. Captive. Agonizing. Death. And I guess we can see the uh, other bit of this here. Eh? I have no idea. Yuri just ran out of the room for water, because... For water, I, I think. I think it would be more accurate to say she ran out of the room for scars? Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Uh, sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Before you could first? No, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start off with sharing our poems with each other? Huh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, I was just asking. Make a mental note of where I left on the book, slip in the bag, because I don't believe in bookmarks, still. This is, uh, a little terrifying, honestly. Yeah, okay, not take it ser seriously. Put effort in this. No writer. I did put an effort. I did put pretty, yeah, okay, so that's all the same. <clears throat> all right. Did she say anything interesting with my poem targeted directly at her? That line might be different. But sometimes, I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I'm not sure if that's new or not. This phrasing feels different, though. Again, okay, this doesn't sound familiar. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction. Why am I doing... I'm doing the completely wrong voice. I'm doing Yuri's voice. <clears throat> she must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too simulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Already? 
Uh, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time. Plenty of time. I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Can you hear me? It appears to have been... No, it should have been created again because we went back through this stuff again. I'm going to, like, make a copy of it and, like, change the name and stuff. Like, just uh, it, it probably doesn't uh, matter, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. So this all seems the same. Epiphany, I guess I'm going to click skip. This is probably the same as first time. I'm just going to let... I'm going to trust the game. Okay. So that's the same. We're going to go with our initial tack on Netsuki, I suppose. Well, do we want to uh, save this as an alternate timeline? I guess we might as well. That, that music, like, right there is specifically... Yeah. Alright, so alternate timeline over here. I've been glancing around the room for a very long time. <laughs> that was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. <laughs> is she now? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. It doesn't exist anymore because I, uh, I renamed it. Is she writing anything in her notebook that we can see? <laughs> is this her notebook? There's a log file. We never actually looked at the log file. That's uh oh, it's a zero byte file. Okay. Alright, nothing's been recently updated other than these when I'd made copies of them. Okay. I'm gonna advance one more line of text before. My eyes land on Yuri Netsuki. Okay. Looks like uh, writing in her notebook does not mean he's currently screwing with the game. Alright. I feel like that was appropriate to check. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Dismissively returns with a desk, it's fancy, yours is cute. My writing style. Twins like my poem too. It's impressed. This might be new. So yes, Twins told me it w was uh, hers was impressive. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Maybe that was the same. Are you that full of yourself? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cutesy. Yeah. Yeah. So, Sayori is who saved this conversation last time. <clears throat> you really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy, bitch! Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The 
The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Good God. Did, did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Twins hear everything you really think. I'm sure it'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, uh. Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Just like last time, right? Nothing is otherwise changed in the background that I can see. She pops out of the, uh, the static. Twinge. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How did I get dragged into this? It's not about me. Why do I have to choose? So, something... Something like that? Hmm. I'm, uh, I'm looking for solace at the game files. There's, there's, there's none to be found. Hmm. I choose the door. I mean, that's, that's technically an option. Add this specific music to the playlist. I'm considering closing the game. I think I might do that. I think that might be my choice. <laughs> okay, well, that's perfect. Uh, that's 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 what uh, is staring at me when we uh, exit back. Just uh, just some happy thoughts. Just some uh, some happy little thoughts. Logs updated, of course. Um, just yeah, nothing. It it appears to be just an actual log file. <laughs> Our lovely uh, title screen again. Um, do we check the other timeline? I guess since we're exiting anyway, we might as well check the other timeline. Okay, apparently that builds up over that the course of that conversation. <laughs> okay, fair, fair enough. Uh, what? <laughs> we're, we're forced Hello. to be... <laughs> that's, uh, that's appropriately creepy, Dragon Core. Um, all right, let's keep the uh, the timelines separated. I'm also a little curious. What if we choose like before things go terribly wrong? Does that affect anything? Probably not. All right, let's uh let's let's keep the timelines separate for now. Well. <laughs> See, then I hesitate, because I remember that, um, I'm gonna kill- I'm just gonna kill this for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on actual music while we're, uh, while we're waiting. Um... Uh, so... The... Ordering that we've seen implies Natsuki is the one in the most peril. Given the the two times we've seen the ordering, it has always been Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri. It has been in that order. So, given that Natsuki is the one that's in the most peril, so we should go with Natsuki. 
But uh, okay, let's uh, let's relaunch. We're gonna go with Natsuki's timeline and pick Natsuki. We're gonna go uh, go fully in. This game's not suitable for children, you guys. Accurate. I mean, in that exchange kind of kittens, yes. But I'm going with the uh, the meta knowledge because our opponent is uh, working in the meta realm, so going off of meta knowledge seems like it makes the most sense. <laughs> All right, so things get uh, very heated, and then we immediately pick Natsuki. Um... I can't tell if it's gonna, like, now I have to try to get on the other side to see if it uh, does this for both, or if it's trying to push me to picking Yuri. Yuri's about to be off screen. Wrong choice? Did, 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 did you want me to pick y Yuri then? Is that... Is that, um... Looking at the files again. I don't really expect any differences, but, you know. Um. <clears throat> hey, Twinge. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. If you say so, Monica. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Yeah, that's, that's so sweet of you, Monica. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. In tears, she quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. So Natsuki is the one that uh, ran out. Do we... I mean, at this point, we're Time Lords. We might as well uh, play with time, right? So let's uh, let's take a, a quick look at the uh, the other timeline. Let's, uh, let's take a, a quick look at the other timeline, shall we? 
Okay, so it does this even if we click him back and forth. Hi. Mm -hmm. Let's go outside. Okay, Natsuki's still the one that runs out of the classroom. That was that was what I was mostly curious about. So we'll we'll still stick on our uh, our main timeline here, I suppose. I didn't mean it. I I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it! I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Twinch. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There is something wrong with me today. Accurate. Accurate. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Of course she will. In case, in case it wasn't clear. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Actually, that's that's more clear. That's scarier clear. Good God, we're never going to the festival, are we? We're never going to get to the festival. It completely doesn't necessarily mean she's dead. It might just mean her memory is completely overwritten, which is a death in its own, but... Eh? Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. Okay. So that further locks in that... Uh, there is some understanding of the position they're in as well. Which is just even more horrifying, honestly. Let's just, just keep ratcheting up the horrifyingness. Just glancing at Monica. I mean, that's, it's not, like, definitive, but it's certainly implied. And uh, Sayori did what she did because Monica told her to. But that uh, screwed up the game, so, you know, just delete her entirely, like getting rid of her in the context of the game wasn't good enough. The game didn't know how to handle that. Okay. Okay. But she keeps glancing at Monica. Y you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It, it's not that. It's it's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Twinge. It would be... It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Which, uh, which non-choice is your choice, though? Which non-choice is your choice? I, 
I'm sorry for causing trouble. Bye! Yep. She's still here on the poetry choice. That'd be a reasonable time, let's see. Okay, she hasn't been deleted. Yuri still exists in the character files. Um, we don't have any other messages from, assumedly, Sayori. At this point, I might as well look at the uh, persistent file, too. I imagine that's uh, a mess. Yeah, they wouldn't leave this as a uh, casual data that we can actually parse and edit or anything. Worth checking, though. Worth checking. You can see if we can get like a different call out from a uh, from Monica or something for meddling. <sighs> I don't know what type of poem we want to write at this point. Also, Yuri was specifically going out of order. Like this is on the um, Natsuki path. If that matters at all, it certainly might not matter at all. But uh, we, we had a poem that was more to Natsuki's liking, and we tried to pick Natsuki for <laughs> whatever that's worth. <laughs> Look, there's like a bookmark here, right? It's totally a bookmark here. Why is there a bookmark here? I don't- my character doesn't believe in bookmarks. I guess, like, so this is our weekend stream. Uh, we'll probably go a little bit uh, longer than normal tonight. And... Uh... I guess I'm loosely planning on finishing loop 2 with the assumption that there's a loop 3? <laughs> I... I don't know. Certainly don't clarify any of that. Uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes, so see you shortly, folks. Alright, um... We're back. <laughs> This, uh, this is a bit of an exhausting stream, but that's okay. What do we want to do as far as the poem goes? Uh, I, I, it probably doesn't really matter very much. So I guess we kind of still go with whatever fits Sayori best, which will probably fit Natsuki best, and that's okay, I guess. Yuri was trying to actually talk to us or warn us or express her feelings about the situation that these people have been thrust into. Um, clearly lucky. Rainbow. Headphones. Special. So this is the second word we don't know the definition of. I mean, I suppose I don't know what I was expecting. Did that advance the uh, word counter? I think it did. No sound effects anymore, either. Oh, it's re-randomized each time, too. Because Rainbow was not on our first word, it was like on our second or third word.
No bogus words showed up this time. How many more of these words are gonna have horrible connotations as this game goes on? Are the, is there gonna be something horrible with music? Because there's melody and like there's at least one other music word in this list. I mean, unrequited's gotten a lot worse. The like some of the already worse words have become worse. Papa's gotten a lot worse. Uh, Scars has gotten a lot worse. Um, Oh god, jump. Oh no. See now now every word is is threatening. Every word is threatening. Like how how can peace be threatening though? I, I, okay. I'm like I am like afraid now, but good god, right? Like How how much foreshadowing are we dealing with here? We got the raindrops, clouds. We've got all of that. What horrible things happen with the rain. Eternity's getting there. I don't think Eternity's quite there yet, but it's it's getting there. Uh, likewise with Infinite, of course. Special, I'm, I'm not feeling the best about either. Play? Play could go downhill. Play and Playground could definitely go downhill, right? Uh, let's see. Lipstick's not uh, not there yet, but definitely could be nibble. Nibble's like starting to get there. Nibble's starting to get there. Dance. Not sure about that. Beauty. Chocolate. Look, look. We've we've got uh, our dog skill at fifty. We we can deal. We can deal with chocolate. Bonus points if you understood that reference. Yeah, see, there's music here. COVID, yeah. Word spinning. Spinning could be bad. Whisper's already kind of bad. Empty. Electricity! I'm not a big fan of the words electricity and jump. I'm not a fan of these words right now. Vertigo! No! No! Captive and Cage! No! Those were already bad words! Those words were already bad! I don't like any of these words! <laughs> 